kind of just uh, <clears throat> trading blows like that? Yeah, it's um, it's tough like that with a team that's as offensively talented as them. Um, it's tough to go you know bucket for bucket. Um, it has to. I thought you know 105 points is a very winnable game, but it was just the other end of the floor. We missed a lot of good looks. Um, I thought myself included turned the ball over too many times. Um, but you know I thought for the most part it's definitely a game we can win. We you know fought hard to get back in the game, but I thought rebounding killed us. Sabonis was. Um, you know, it had to be a collective effort to get him off the glass, and I thought um, he did a really good job th for them. And, uh, obviously, a lot of their offenses revolved around him, and they got shooters coming off pin downs and um, that type of, type of action. I thought we handled a lot of it well, made a lot of their stuff tough, but you know, it's just one of them nights there where you, you can't make shots, and um, they make a few more than you do, and you know they win the game. It seemed like uh, you guys were able to kind of find those angle cuts at portions of the time in the game, and then sometimes. They weren't there. Was, was there anything, any common threads for when you were getting the types of looks that you wanted and, and versus when you weren't? Yeah, I thought when we executed our stuff and we didn't try to rush through the plays, uh, we got what we wanted. And, um, you know, a few of our ATOs are really good. I thought we got layups and easy shots and um, we didn't make them all tonight, but, um, you know, it's encouraging that we're able to get those looks and um, they'll start falling for us. So, you know, no one's worried about that end of the floor. I think it's defensive then, rebounding, something we've emphasized, you know, all season and um, something we've, we've really got to get better at. And then, you know, we can't leave it up to Chet and, and Jay Will, these big guys. And it's, you know, us wings and guards that have to get in there and, and make their life easy. So a um, few things we've got to clean up, but uh, we'll be right. You know, we've got a tough challenge against Phoenix, you know, in a couple of days. And um, it's going to be another emphasis of defending them and, and, and rebounding the ball. Josh, you, you mentioned some bonus, and obviously we talked at length about being two can run the glass. I'm just curious what the challenge might have been uh, with him especially. Yeah, I mean, he, he's tough um, because he's, he's very talented. He's got you know, shooters all around him, which is where he thrives. He's a, probably the best passing big in the NBA. And, um, I mean, Jokic, him and Jokic are probably right there. But, um, you know, their offense is very he heavily centered around him. And um, they're, they're very in sync, you know, their team. Their offense is very free-flowing. They know where they're going to get looks. And um, it's hard to stop him because he's strong and powerful. And when he gets on the block, um, he can score the ball. So um, he does it from, you know, the, the passing sense also. He can score the ball. So he's a tough cover. Um, and as I said, you know, especially with these, you know, talented bigs, we can't leave Chet on an island, you know, one on one. We have to, you know, help, and, and it has to be a collective effort to stop these type of guys. And, um, and I thought tonight we, we did an okay job of him, you know, scoring wise. He was able to you know, get other guys looks, but that's on the rest of us now. That's not on you know Chet and the bigs. And um, yeah, know with these talented guys, it has to be a group effort, and you can't leave them, you know, one on one. Especially with the rebounding thing, they had 23 second chance points. Um, I know it's like a thing that keeps coming up, and you guys can't really change the size guys you are or whatever. W what more can the wing guys do? What, what can you do to help? Yeah, them? a lot of it's an effort thing. Um, you know, typically our guys are on the perimeter that we're guarding, so, you know, naturally you're not in the paint to grab rebounds, but uh, we have to just kind of get that, you know, installed in us that, you know, when a shot goes up, we're, we're checking our guys, but then we're going, then we're going on the glass to get rebounds and help our bigs out. So. Um, I, I thought, you know, last year we, we had the same thing. We, we were smaller, but I thought we rebounded the ball better. And um, this year we've obviously struggled with it. But, um, you know, we've watched a lot of film. We, we've gone over it a lot and kind of really, you know, emphasized it. So um, it'll clean itself up. But it, it's on us, as I said, it's on our smaller guys and wings and guards to get in there and, um, you know, be physical, make, make, make our bigs life easier and um, help them out on that side of the ball. Josh, just a quick question. You guys kind of started off slow in the first quarter, but – Close of the second and third quarter, you guys started to pick it up. What did you? What was working for you guys in those two stretches? Yeah, I think we started getting stops. Uh, we got out and run, and when we were in transition, our offense was free flowing. Uh, we got a lot of good looks. Um, I thought, you know, when we when we were able to get stops, um, get the ball to miss, and when we don't get bogged down in the half court, um, we, we've got guys that can handle, make plays in the open floor, and that's when we're at our best. And I thought throughout the end of that second, you know, start of the third, that's that's what we got and. Um, it allowed us to get back in the game, and then um, I thought towards the end of the third, start of the fourth, they kind of got the game, you know, back in their tempo, and um, they they slowed it down. We were in the half court a bit, um, started picking us apart. So we just had to continue to speed the game up. And I thought when we're playing like that, um, it, we're, we're a tough team to stay with, just because of the um, abilities of the guys on the floor that we have that can, you know, one through five make plays and handle the ball. So we're we're a talented offensive team, but um, it's going to be the other end of the floor. It's going to, you know, win us games. Josh, it seemed like in addition to, to trying to pick up the pace offensively, you, Shea, really leaned into physicality uh, on your drives. You had an and one. Shea had a couple of those. Just how important are those sort of plays when, when you're trying to generate some offense for you guys? I mean, very. I mean, 
you know, get him downhill and put him pressure on the paint uh, and on the defense and whether that's to score or, you know, they collapse and you kick it out, um, it's just a read thing. But, um, you know, being physical is something as a smaller team and an undersized group, we, we have to kind of, you know, throw that first punch, um, so to say. And I thought um, there's times where we do it, there's times where we don't, but it has to be a 48 minute thing where we're physical, whether that's, you know, offensively, defensively, um, it just has to be a consistent thing for us. And, um, you know, with these bigger, more experienced, stronger teams, um, if, if we don't come out that way, we're, a lot of teams are going to push us over. And um, I think we've, we've got the group to do it. It's just a, more of a mindset thing that we come out and, um, you know, want to be physical and want to throw that first punch. Anything else? Sorry. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you.